Hello, welcome to my easy to follow in vivo how to videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import Excel classification sheet full of attributes into in vivo. Now, this is important. If you look at my screen, when you have a lot of data set, you may probably think 14 is not a lot. But if you do have a lot of data set with many attributes like gender, age group, role, role, country, and all sorts of different, it can be very difficult and time wasting really to sit back here and try to assign each person by pulling it down and picking up male or female for that particular case. So I'm going to show you how very quickly we can go into an Excel sheet and create very quickly the various attributes. So on my screen now, we are back into Excel and I've created a classification uh, table, which I have named participant demographic sheets, similar to the one which I had in Envivo. And I have put each person's um, value, attribute value in the sheet. So all I need to do is to close this sheet down because you need to close it to be able to import it into Envivo. So I'm going to close the sheet down. Now back in Envivo, I've got the same title here. It doesn't matter if it's the same at all, empty it here. So now I'm going to very quickly right mouse click and then import classification sheet, which is an Excel file. So I'll go through the browse and here you have it. I've got that classification sheet, which I closed down. It is here so I can pick it up and say open. And then I'm going to go through a wizard to bring that sheet onto here to replace the unassigned so that is the sheet and so i then click on next and it says it's still going to be class classification sheet the answer is yes that's what i want and then all these three boxes make sure that it is ticked the first one says create a new attribute if that does not exist so on the classification sheet i've got gender age group all the way to county but on my excel spreadsheet i can have extra bit and so those extra bit will be created and added to this four the second one is to update the classification sheet of existing items so in this particular sheet, the classification is all unassigned. So these unassigned will be replaced by the one from the Excel sheet. And then the third one is replace attribute values of existing files. So basically, yeah, it's going to replace it. Just make sure that all three is checked and then you click on next. And so the software wants to know the names of the cases, which is Alicia all the way to Susan. So I'm going to accept that they are the names and they are in the folder that we created called cases here. And then everything else will be perfectly in line. So you go for next and it says if there were any on a sign this is how it's described and dates variables this doesn't really apply to our data but you just go for finish to finish it and instantaneously you see the beauty saves you time you don't have to sit and drop down and drop down and get very tired and making make, make mistakes even so this is a better way what we have gone through in this small video is we have discovered that when you have a lot of data and you want to set an attribute value to each case, it's much easier for you to step out into Excel 
and then create an Excel file and then import it in. It's very, very simple. It's driven by wizard. So it makes it even much, much easier. I hope this has been useful and um, hope you can come back and get some more. Thank you for watching.